You know, you know, and I'm going to say love my next guest for his role as Ben Wyatt in Parks and Recreation. On Sunday, he returns for season two of Big Little Lies. I've always been better at talking to women than I have, and you know, you certainly got Madeline in a way that I never could. I mean, I think you might be able to get her open up. You know, you have your little way. All I'm getting is pushback at every turn. I swear to God, if I sign up for this bull, I'd still be with Maddie. I mean, I don't mean. Oh no, no. Um, look, Nathan, I'm no expert on marriage or anything. I mean, something tells me if you're seeking out the husband of your ex-wife to like lead the communication charge with your new one. Why do you always have to be so snide? I don't mean to be snide. No, you don't mean to be. It just comes natural. Please welcome Adam Scott. Boys, we're back in town. 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 Thank you very much. My goodness. My goodness. Hi. Hello. Nice to have you here. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. No, I know that you were a big, uh, big fan of David Letterman, as, as am I. Yes. Did you, you went on with Dave? I, I, I got to go on a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. And it was the first time I went on, as I'm sure it was with you. Sure. Like it is a major life event. I remember <laughs> yeah. every second. Absolutely. The smells. I mean, it was yeah. here. It was freezing. It Dave was, smelled amazing, he by did. the way. He had so, a very, very, like very nice smell. Like wintergreen. Like yes. wintergreen. Welcome back to the Ed Sullivan Theater. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to have you. Yeah, thank now, we've met briefly before, but this we is did. kind of a first, kind of a first real conversation. Yes. We yes. met at a party or something like yeah, yeah. that. And yeah, yeah. And our first real conversation is televised, which yeah. is as it all should the best be. ones are. Absolutely. All the best ones are. Absolutely. All the best ones. Now, I understand. I just found out that you were, mm. besides being an actor, yep. from a very young age, you were a huge film fan, a huge film yeah. buff. How did that manifest itself in you? Were you was that embraced by your friends, or were you, was that a bit odd to them? It was tolerated, I think. I, I, you know, in high school, I, like, would direct plays and fancied myself a, kind of an auteur, a high school level auteur. But I, I did. I would. I was really, really super into Spike Lee, and. Uh, I would direct plays and play like a supporting role in the play, because that's what Spike did. He didn't take the lead. Sure, sure, he would sure. play the supporting okay. role while directing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I, I even went so far as to, to buy, I, I got a New York Knicks hat. I got the same eyeglasses that Sp I grew a goatee. Like I, I went for it. There you go. There it is. I can't, I cannot tell the difference. Yep. I don't know what if I thought that people were gonna be like, I'm, I'm sorry, are you, are you Spike Lee? Like, what? I don't know Have what I was. Have you told him about this? Have you I, talked to I've him never, about this? I've never met the man, but uh, I, I'll carry that around just in case. Wow. <laughs> no, are your kids impressed with your success? How, how old are your? They're are your 10 kids? and 12. 10 and 12. Yeah. That's, that's that's nice. Yeah, it you is. Gotta take care of yourselves, and they probably still care a little bit about you, right? Well, they haven't hit the teen years where they they go into the tunnel and you yeah, no, keep shouting I love you. They haven't <laughs> disconnected completely, but yeah. it is coming uh, fast. I can tell. Um, th as far as my career goes, they're they they're they're. It's not that they hate uh, my work, but they must watch part. They had to have watched Parks and Rec. No, that's a... they love everything around it. They love The Office and The Good Place and uh, and Brooklyn Nine Nine. They like everything surrounding, but they won't do Parks and Rec just because I'm on it. And it's no fun. No, they've spent enough time with me already. I get. I mean, their ambivalence is really aggressive. Is there anything? <laughs> is there anything that you did? You know, uh, as Mr. Wyatt on that show, that uh, you wouldn't want them to see or associate with you, because you're a pretty sweet character. Yeah, I mean, I guess I wouldn't want them to think I'm as enthusiastic about calzones as <laughs> I am on the show. Sure, sure. But mm -hmm. um, other than that, I, I think I, everything passes muster. Would you let them watch Big Little Lies? Oh, absolutely. No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't th I don't think so. Especially since I'm in it, they just never would. Now, in the clip we just saw, your beard is gone in this season. That's true. What the hell? I know. What the hell? What I happened know. to your beard? Was that one of the lies from last year? That's right. 
It was a lie. That yeah. was not a real beard, guys. Yes. Was that a character choice to take the beard off? It kind of was. It kind of was. Uh, the, I think no beard and, and my character Ed has, in between seasons, discovered Nordstrom's and started dressing a, l a, a little nicer. He's kind of going through a bit of a transformation. Now, uh, you, have, uh, you have an interesting addition to the, the cast this year. Uh, yeah. Meryl Streep is, That's right. is uh, one of the, the, the big little liars. That's right. Yeah. Did you did had you met her before doing the? Doing I had the never show? met her. No. What was that like for you? Because she's she can be a little intimidating as it, well. Yeah, incredibly intimidating. Uh, I met her at a table read for the show, had a quick little uh, interaction. It was very nice. She moved on, and I was kind of standing there stunned. Mm -hmm. And Laura Dern immediately walks up, and she just said, "Listen, I was just watching. You did fine. <laughs> Everything went well." <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. Because everyone's just waiting for that moment to meet Meryl Streep. Sure, you know? sure. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was pretty incredible having her, having her there. But, do, do you get to do a scene with her? Or can I you not tell me? I can't tell you, but because there are HBO assassins that will get me. But <laughs> sure, um, sure. It, was, it was amazing. Lovely Thanks, to meet Steven. you. Thank you so Thanks. much for being here. <laughs> Big Little Lies returns Sunday on HBO. Adam Scott. We'll be right back with a performance by Spiritualized.